welcome back my peeps so i don't have a tutorial for you well it is a tutorial but it's not by me um i a subscriber reached out to me her name is rachel and she had this great idea how to turn this like a styrofoam ball into this a cute little cupcake mold right two different shapes you see that so i asked her if she would be willing to share a tutorial and she did and she created a tutorial for you guys so i'm gonna share her tutorial on my youtube channel with her permission and i just thought you guys would like it because it's cost saving you would get a pack of these well this is like a mini one it's not the regular size but this technique works for any size so you can make big ones, small ones, tiny ones, whatever you want. But I'm not going to show you how to do it. I'm going to let Rachel show you how to do it. I'm going to attach her tutorial to this video. And I hope you guys like it. And Rachel also has a Facebook group called Homemade Happiness 01. 01, I'm sorry. Happiness Homemade. I have it all wrong. Homemade Happiness zero one which i'm gonna attach the link to um down below so you guys can follow her over there because she uploads other tutorials that she does and her group is about crafting homemaking a bunch of different stuff but anyways i thought you guys would really like this because there's another way to make cupcake bottoms or cupcakes um to fit in your wrappers to uh design for your fake bakes and it's cheap and cost savings so i hope you guys like rachel's video talk to you later stay safe stay healthy keep crafting see you soon hi everybody today i am going to show you how to make the styrofoam to make the styrofoam cupcake and this is styrofoam it's a round styrofoam this specific size is a 1.9 and I did buy it at the dollar store. And I suggest that if you're going to do this, buy them there because I've been pricing these little suckers, these little styrofoam balls. And they are expensive when I go down to Walmarts and Hobby Lobbies and stuff. If you go to Michael's, don't forget to use your percentage and that'll be better for you to do. But we are making the styrofoam only, okay? And there are different sizes. I have a 1.4, which makes this little bitty one. Then the 1.9 and it goes to a 2.4 and a 2.8 the two point and then you're going to need as well let me get this out of the way you will need the cupcake holder okay now for the little bitty for the uh 1.9 ones i did have a mini cupcake liner and i did put a piece of uh uh poster board on the bottom to hold it and then I can do it on there and it'll hold it perfectly up here so you can do that now if you go to dollar store you're going to find these or you're going to find these also they have these and sometimes they have these these I've, I've had them now for a while I know that for sure but we're going to make using the the two-piece styrofoam ball which is a 2.8 is what I'm using and we're going to use one of these okay so I've got that set right there. I'm going to put everything to one side so it is not on my way. And this is what we're making. Okay. Now I will give you the colors and what I used for this one here, which is the coffee latte. Okay. But anything, if you want to make it chocolatey, there's melted chocolate. And there's caramel, so it depends on which one you want to use. Okay, some of these are from Michaels, other ones are from Walmart, and, and anywhere you want to go for your hobby craft. Now, for the cupcake liner, let's do this one because this one's a lot easier and faster. We're going to cut the rim off just along the edge. Okay. This is all I did. I just came along the top, and I removed that edge right there. Now, I got this idea from peep this y'all. As y'all know, I've been telling you that I do follow other people on other, and she's incredible. You need to go, and if you're not following her on YouTube, you need to go do that. Okay, let me see here. 
I'm always thinking ideas when I'm doing this. Well, I'll do this later. Now here's my cupcake liner. Okay, if it's gonna fit perfectly once we get the ball. And I like it because it is stronger, it's sturdier. It'll flex whatever I wanna do. But this is my cupcake liner. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is that I have something here. I have a paper, like y'all know that I put my paper on the bottom. And I need to flatten the bottom. Now the ball is round, doesn't matter which way you flatten, as long as you flatten it down. Now put your palm, let me get you down. This is how I do my palm. Get it down and push it down. Okay. See, there it is. It's flat. Okay. Now, if it's not flat enough, you can come back with your fingers and do it again. It'll push it down. Now, this styrofoam is not the hard styrofoam. It is the one that you can see inside. It's the regular styrofoam. Okay. So now, this is exactly the bottoms. As you can tell, those are the bottoms to my styrofoams. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand again at an angle. I've got the ball in the center of my palm. And as you can tell, the bottom of this, let me get you down. It's not, I'm not twisting. I'm not going to do the top part. I'm going to flatten the side. I'm just going to push it over and keep on rolling it to side from side to side. I mean, from side to side. You're going to keep on twisting your ball all the way around. It is grabbing the bottom and it's grabbing the top of here. So you may have to do this a couple of times till you go all the way around it till it becomes flat enough. You can hear it cracking, huh? So you can tell now, it's no longer circled. Okay, you can leave it this size if you want to have a fat cupcake. It'll work in here just the same. Okay, but in my case, I did make it a little bit more slender. Okay, so I will continue to flatten this as many times as I want to. And remember, when I'm doing it and you're going like this, your first crease is going to come like this because your ball, again, you're at an angle. You can't get the top part anyway. And you're compressing all the styrofoam. Okay, here's my here's my cupcake. Now, after I made this, I thought about it. I could also use it for the top of a an icy. If they she does make icies on her on her YouTube page. Um, but uh, yeah, I tell you, it just depends on how you want to make it. And here it is. There's nothing to it. See, and there's my cupcake. Okay, so now I have two cupcakes. If you want to, you also can compress the top part, except not like this. You're just going to go slightly around it. Just to get that crease off of there. I did compress a little bit on the top. Not a whole lot. See, I'm not pressing so hard. I just wanted to push it down a little bit. So when I do add the paint, it's not going to go so much into the holes. Well, again, I hope that you enjoy this video. Let me bring you up a little bit. I do hope you enjoy this video. Thank you.